Hello there. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you are doing well in this time. Much love and appreciation and I'm happy to have you here. So let's see how well I can serve you today with this message. These are going to be general messages so they may not all apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly. I want to thank you for, you know, going ahead and hitting the like button, for subscribing to the channel, for being here, and also for taking the time out to share the messages when, if they inspire you with those you love. So right off of the bat, I want to tell you that whatever you're experiencing now, it's going to heal. It is all going to restore itself. It's br being brought into balance. Giving and taking, restoration. You may be coming into connection with another person, a water sign, a fellow water sign who is a soulmate energy. Or this could be what you are releasing. Right. For some of you, you could be releasing a past soul tie that had you feeling confused. Okay. So I feel like you're going to be moving past the sadness, the confusion in your energy, not being clear about the road that you're taking, especially going toward your great, amazing and wonderful vision of not just financial freedom and prosperity, but well-being overall is what you want to experience. I feel like you want to just be free to be so that all of you can emerge, especially the most beautiful creative side of you the genius your explorative side if yeah i feel like you want your genius to emerge and that's definitely going to be i feel like it's going to be restored because this vision that you have it is innate it is something that is destined with the star energy and the hangman it is destined to be fulfilled okay so maybe that's why it haunts you so. There, um, I feel like you also had to build yourself up when it comes to your heart, loving who you are, all of that. You're just loving you. You had to build that up in yourself. I feel like it, whatever you went through in your experiences that hurt you, it also caused you to become reliant on your own self meaning your fate relying on one the ace of swords prayer fate the gospel you know that helped to strengthen your vision as well right now i feel like you may be moving away definitely you're in the an energy of walking away disconnecting following in your heart space and that's taking you toward your healing there's also a call for you to meditate more, to introspect, to maybe be silent, be quiet, to visualize. And then I really do see you coming into this financial balance here with the Two of Pentacles. And like I'm saying, it's not just finances, it's clarity. It's like getting yourself back on track. <clears throat> it's the energy of the boat was being rocked, but you captained it through the storm and i feel you as you emerge on calmer waters okay so let's right so you had to move past what maybe you had to learn to forgive to clear up certain energies in you even to release a certain soul tie or a contract that you made i feel like you were committing or you were committed to someone else maybe energetically bonds trapped or strapped and it's almost like it's going to be corrected. <clears throat> so this could be you as you experience this. Or this could be your person. But uh, whatever this, whatever is being experienced now. The Nine of Swords. Which is loss, pain, torment. 
it's definitely calling for someone to really sit in, to really introspect. Meditate. You're going to get some guidance too. It's going to help you to get back on track, get back your footing. As it relates to income, love, past love, healing too, I feel healing yourself, your past self, all of that. And something is going to be happen taking place quickly. Oh, so I feel that like you could be thinking of denying someone that may make a certain pass at you, send you a message I want to communicate with you. I feel like you're getting your in a message. You know, it's the energy of that light on the top of your head that's telling you, it's alerting you, signaling you that something is about to happen. Could be your third eye vision, your third eye is opening up, clearing, because there's definitely some healing here. I like that. Clearing up. Yeah, look, your third eye, your vision was blocked. Possibly your vision was blocked by the sun what's that like you couldn't see externally as if you took another route but it's, it's coming back to you like i say i feel like this vision is coming back it's gonna be restored you're going to get confirmation or the validation that you've always wanted about something that you've suspected. Someone may be coming around to you to tell you the truth or to confess. But I do feel a lot of an abundance in your future like you have. What's that? It's almost like you have, you possess something. That you have the opportunity or the option to multiply. You know, like you can sell this and make some money. It's the energy of having... And I feel it's something that you've had for a long time. Like you've ha you had a piece of jewelry or something that maybe passed down in your family. Something you've inherited. That you can sell or trade out or use or transform or something into this chariot which is like a lot of abundance here it's, it's like i feel like you have a gift you have something to use could be your knowledge power yeah you have a lot of information knowledge it's as if you have a, a, a library that you inherited or something that someone gave to you a long time ago maybe you didn't even know it was valuable but no it will be valuable in this time it's gonna come a time where what your gift Will be valuable so maybe all the things that you went through just trust in your heart for your heart space it's you're, it's going to ask if you're going to emerge you're going to understand why all of that happened to you and it's almost like you've had this dream someone that has been haunted by a dream forever and you couldn't understand why you keep having that dream recurring recurring it's like something is all going to make sense with the star card and the hangman vibration it's going to, as I say, clear up a lot that you've been confused about emotionally. And I feel it has to do with your f family. Maybe I think you link it to your family, these emotions. But it could be greater than that. You know, I feel like your family could just be the ones that bring out something in you that's greater to be observed, this gift. I'm wondering if you're using this 
maybe you're spending money or you're receiving or some message about money there's what's that a lifestyle something ending justice something that you've stood up for standing up for what is something you deserve something that was kept from your knowing out of your awareness and now you're gonna know maybe yeah all right so this is what i have for you thank you so much for coming through and i do hope you found messages that inspire you and is able to help you on your journey if you did remember on your way out hit the like button share subscribe and come back again for messages whenever I upload again for you. Thank you so much. And remember that you are all, all is within you.